Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Colored Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Oh man, it feels like it's been a while since I've like gotten into this game, which is weird for you. Everything has remained the same, but I haven't played in like a week and a half. It's weird. Not super weird, but anyway, we're gonna, we'll talk, we'll talk. I've got like four active games of Pokemon Go right now in my life. So it's been a little interesting. Anyway, today's episode, we're gonna try and take on the fairy gym and get the fairy badge. My problem uh, with the episode, however, was that uh, if you look at our lineup right here, fairies really only weak to poison and steel. And in our whole team, we have none of that at all. Neither, not a. Now, we could probably just body slam our way through it. But I was looking at the box, I was like, is there anything we could do? I skimmed right over this Lucario because we're not using that. And I started wondering, uh, I, no, I forgot about Ashworth here. And I was like, ooh, oh, that could turn into an Escavalier. That would be a really cool steel type. I could add that. That might be our answer, right? So. The only issue was that I was going to have to trade it with a Carablast, and normally I can't trade when I'm doing a Nuzlocke because I'm playing on an emulator, but this is not an emulator. This is just a real game, and I have a second 3DS that has a copy of X and Y on it that is far enough into the game to catch one. So I did, and now we're going to trade them and then just trade back. Because normally my issue with trades is that if you trade, you get like the boosted experience. But if you trade back, then you don't because you're back to the original owner. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit show. Offer. Offer. Trade. Trade. Boom. It's happening. Man. Just getting that Carablast though was not easy because first I had to, I was like, you know what? I haven't I had like a Pokemon Bank uh, account thing. I wonder if I just have one. So I had to go and try and log into that. First of all, there it is. There's the Carablast, and this is not what we're using. We have to trade back after they evolve to get the um, Escavalier. Uh, what Carablast is evolving? And Ashworth is evolving. Do, do, do. I can show you it happening on the screen right there. You really want to see it? A boom! Yay! What is this one? Excelgor! Although, wait. So. Hmm. <laughs> I might have. Well, this is weird. Okay. Because this one, this one should be the Escavalier, I thought. Obviously not. Uh, okay. I guess Shelmet does not evolve into the one that looks like a knight. Instead, that evolves into the one that looks like a ninja. Excelgor. So, okay. Uh, well, we're going to trade back either way. Show, show. Offer. Offer, trade. I think my plan, okay, yeah, that, that, that is what I thought we were getting. It is apparently not what we are getting. We are getting that guy, Excelgor. Okay, well, that's still a pretty cool looking Pokemon. I've definitely never used one. All right. Okay. That might be a fun addition anyway. Either way, okay. Not what I planned. Not what I thought was gonna happen. I feel a little stupid. I mean, the little Shelmet, Ashworth looked like a little knight. And this guy Flair's big knight. I think that's a common mistake. There he is, Excelgo. Struggle Bug, Mega Drain, Yawn, and Protect. Hydration? What does that do? Heal status conditions if it's raining. Huh. Okay, that's cool. I'm into it. And you are primarily a special attacker who is very fast. Holy butts. Okay, seeming good so far. Um, 
we are going to i think the one the pokemon we've been discussing opting out for a few episodes has been lucasander so i think we're just gonna do that lucasander you're an amazing pokemon we love you this is not the who knows you are you are number one in the box i was initially like maybe this is my chance to put on uh kamiko Kamakonu, whose name I did not remember. <laughs> Kamakonu, our uh, lovely trappage, but of course, uh, well, he's only ground type right now, but fairy is good against dragon. So that's like specifically why they were introduced into the game. Anyway, catching the other half of this was its own adventure. I wish you could have seen. Uh, at first, yeah, I was trying to log into Pokemon Bank, and then it's like, no, your 3DS needs to update the whole system. And I'm like, okay, great, fine. And then I opened Pokemon Bank, and like, you need to download an update to Pokemon Bank. And I was like, oh my god. And then I was convinced it wasn't going to remember my like login information, and that I definitely didn't remember it. And I was going to have to hunt that down or change passwords. I didn't. I got caught a break there, but I finally got in. And would you believe it? In my Pokemon Bank account, I had three Shelmets, one Escavalier, and zero Carablast. So then I had to go into the game and go and catch one, and then here we are. Anyway, that's my story. Uh, and then we traded it for this awesome, amazing-looking uh, stealth bug ninja dude who is not a steel type, just a bug type. <sighs> anyway, though, the real question shall be... No, 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 no. The real question shall be, can he learn any poison and or steel type moves? That's what we need to know before we take on our next gym battle. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Look at this. We do have a poison move everyone can learn. The issue is that it it doesn't like do it's not an attack it's just like poisons them and then we have to wait so grass not confide fly trick room tracked mm -hmm, mm -hmm. poison jab oh uh, that would have been a good one that would have been a good one we might be in the exact same situation we were just in except now we're not using <laughs> lucasander <laughs> oh boy Shadow Claw, Venoshock, Venoshock, yes, that is what we wanted. Use Venoshock, kaboom, okay. Yes, teach Venoshock, and it is a special attack, so that's good. All right, you are gonna be like our poison -er. Uh, Let's get rid of Yawn, I think, because the point is to poison them, not to make them go to sleep. So we're going to get rid of that. I don't even say get rid of Protect, except Protect goes pretty good with Poison. Because you can just poison them and then be like, wait, you take damage. Okay, so that, and maybe we should then give him um, also Toxic as well. Boot it up to you, and we can take Toxic. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We're going in. New Pokemon. Uh, so this is 40. This is 50. Obviously, we should keep Struggle Bug. Get rid of this Mega Drain. Boom. Forget. Here we go. Poison type. Welcome to the team. We're making it up as we go. All right. There we go. That looks fun. The question is, should we do any amount of grinding? Because he is about five levels down on the rest of the team significantly less hp for the lashworth who is a she i'm now realizing so should we go train her up a smidge before we get into the uh into the gym and i think we probably should um so i might have to go do some grinding real quick Hmm. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how this affects the team overall. I know Lucasander, specifically with Goyrin, was uh, those two are pretty good. Goyrin would ride around a little old Lucasander there. Very cute. But um, Goyrin is the team leader. And therefore, she should know that we need, we have to, we have to be as strong as we can. But, well, we have a, uh, we have. Majority girls on the team now. There you go. 
Fats and Juge hanging in there. A couple of dudes. Maybe they'll like bond over that. That'd be cool. <laughs> Can't ride Juge around though, Fatterhorn. <laughs> Too big. Too big. Fortunately, everyone can fit on Xylam, so there you go. All right. Well, our team is still looking pretty strong. I mean, everyone's fully evolved. That's nice. I wonder if we have any um, items we could give Ashworth as well. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to go do Smidge of Grinding, and I will see you in a minute. Enjoy the music. Happy grinding. Look at that. We got all of two levels. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, it is a long process when you are grinding with someone whose like main tactic is poisoning stuff because you just got to sit there and wait and none of the stuff in that swamp is offering tons of experience. So I was like, you know what? I bet it would just go faster if we went straight to the gym because uh, they're going to have stuff that's weak to mighty Ashworth here. Uh, let me get, I'll, I'll show you the stats anyway. How do we compare? 72, 72, 67, 59, 99 special attack. Holy butts. Uh, and 100 on the big attack there. So pretty comparable. Um, levels wise, I'll be interested to see what your special attack is when you're level 37. I doubt it's at 99. Jeez, Chloeo. Insane. And yet, doesn't even have a special attack. <laughs> We're not going to take advantage of that mighty, mighty powerhouse. That is, oh man, that's, that is a bummer. We should, we should try and remedy that. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> anyway. We're going to head to the gym. I also gave Ashworth the poison barb. We do have the silver powder, which could increase the power of bug buzz. But I was like, you know what? We're heading to the fairy gym. We're trying to up that poison. We're going poison barb. So effectively uh, making it, a, I guess, like a stab move as well, which is the same type of attack bonus. Um, which is what you get when you're the same type as the move you're using. You guys know that. We've played enough Pokemon together throughout the years. It's great. Oh, speaking of playing Pokemon throughout the years, I think presently I have this game going. I have my uh, Pokemon Y game going here, which I don't really have going because it's been over, over a year since I played this. When I uh, opened that up to get the Carablast, um, apparently I was playing a Nuzlocke on that as well, just personally. I had no recollection of it. I've got like, uh, like a Raichu and a Venipede and a... Uh, I almost called it a Donatello, a Blastoise, um, a, a f set, not Centret, Ferret, Ferret, whatever Centret evolves into. Um, what else was on there? Uh, a Slowpoke? Yeah, interesting assortment of Pokemon on there that I had no recollection of. Um, I've got my Let's Go Eevee game going. <laughs> My Ben-themed game, where I'm only using Pokemon that Ben used to count as his favorites back in the day. And then, this past week on vacation, I was doing a, um, I opened up my, my Ultra Sun game. Which, um, I'm doing a, I guess it's like a gym leader challenge, or like a monotype challenge, you might call it. Where you have to use Pokemon that are all of the same type, and I was doing Fire. Uh, which is actually pretty fun in Ultra Sun. Um, oh, this is a cool gym. Ooh, I've got wings. Uh, you know, they give some gym leaders such like a like an arc. And for introducing fairy types, you'd have thought this gym leader would get an arc, but not really. She's just you just show up, beat her, and keep moving. Anyway. It was really fun doing the um the fire challenge. Because like typically when I you play through a game. Like, okay, the reason this Pokemon is on my team is because they are the, like, oh, I'm, I'm adding this Pokemon because they're my fire type. Like, that's that's the reason they're there. But when everything's fire, you have to have, like, different reasonings. It's like, you need, okay, you're the special attacker. You're, 
You're out here just to poison stuff. You're here to do the ground damage. You're here to handle the water Pokemon. Like everything has to have a very specific purpose. So it's a much different way of thinking about what goes on your team. Uh, I was very much enjoying it. It was cool. Cool way to play. It's making me want to do like when Shield and Sword comes out to like maybe try and do that there. Just be like, all right, I'm going to be like the X type of trainer. And this is how we're going to do it. I don't know where these portals go. I can't believe we haven't run into anyone yet. Here we go, our first challenge. Let's see if Ashworth is indeed worthy. Here we go, fairy types. Linea, aromatesi, Aromatis well, it's a weird looking Pokemon. It's a weird looking Pokemon. All right, Excelgore. Oh my God, it's level 40, holy, okay. This is not, I don't love our, mm-hmm. Toxic, go. Oh, it avoided it. Are you kidding? It avoided it? <laughs> In all of the grinding, I, it did, no one dodged it once. And I was like, does it have 100% accuracy? Apparently not. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm just gonna switch. This is not, we are not, oh my gosh. We could just die right here. Oh no. Oh, we didn't die. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going to fight, and all we're going to do is protect. We're just going to let the poison build for a round. Because toxic does more damage the longer it's um, in effect. And then we're going to switch, because that didn't work. Oh, God. We're so screwed. I mean, we're not, but, like, ow. Um... <laughs> Fatterhorn, let's get in here. Where's our big specialty defensive wall? Speaking of the reason you're on the team. Oh gosh. Let's see, how does Fatterhorn handle the moon blast? Mm-hmm. Boom! Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, our special attack fell. That's okay, we hit the leftovers. Not bad. That poison damage is gonna do... She only has one Pokemon, which is why I think it's probably such a high level. But you have to think... What's there but the leader is going to be even stronger. No one in the gym is going to be stronger than her. And she's going to have a Sylveon. That's like her signature Pokemon is the fairy evolution. Oh, how dare. It doesn't even matter if you attract because we're still just going to. Uh, mm -hmm. we're still, you're still just going to die to poison in the end. And, uh, one more round. One more round. Let's just go. It doesn't really matter. Strength, whatever. It doesn't matter if we hit you or not, as long as we don't die. Oh, charm. Oh, oh. You've got nothing. Boom. Bam. Just like that. You're dead. Aromatissi. Aromatissi. Aroma I don't know what your name is. Yeah. Level. Boom. Now, maybe, please, what's his button needs to get a level two? Uh, Ashworth? Oh, come on! So close. Well, we're gonna hyper potion that. That was dangerous. Oh my gosh. Boy, I'll tell you what, as I was playing that uh, Ultra Sun, uh, it w that was not like, I wasn't nuzlocking that, I was just playing with all fire. It was nice not to have to worry about stuff dying. <laughs> Like, you don't want stuff to die, obviously, so you don't want faints or anything, but um, that was, you know, different. It's a, it's a different way to, like, find out what kind of Pokemon are your, like, favorites. Like, you like uh, the thing, the, the team member that ended up being my favorite easily, and I haven't even finished the playthrough yet, though, but was uh, my Alolan Marowak. Like, easily, easily my favorite Pokemon of the team. Sorry, Incineroar. Oh, boy. Now I'm so nervous. I'm like, I thought we had such a good strategy. <laughs> I was going to come in here and just poison everything. Now I'm like, I don't know. That was so okay. That being said, we survived a level 40 moon blast. So there's that. Also, struggle bug. Is that what it was? Our bug type attack lowers special attack. So there is that. Everything is a good attack. We toxic them, we protect. We can lower their special attack, or we can hit them with Venoshock, which will do double damage if they're poisoned, which they will be. So, we're good. 
Let's see how this goes. Maybe round two will be better. Maybe we'll get a straight up kill. The Dene. This is that like a little electric doofus. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel a little better about this. Level 38, God, they're all so strong. Look at that, we didn't even get uh, toxic. Here we go. Yeah, take that. You're poisoned. God, there we go. Charge beam, how's this gonna do? Is it gonna raise its special attack? It did. I don't like that, but you're poisoned now. The problem is now that it's it's a little bit stronger. So the next one it hits us with will do more damage, but it will not get a chance to increase it again. So you take a little extra damage there. That's good. And then I have to imagine Venna Shock does a lot of damage. Because one, he's the weakness, the poison, the double. Bam! Yes! Oh man, we should have just opened with that. Maybe she'll have a second one. Of course, I don't know how much of a difference it made that um, it was poison to begin with. Azumarill. Oh man, Azumarill. Mm -hmm. Very good fairy type Pokemon. Very good typing. Toxic. Avoided! Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating that it's avoiding the attacks. Weirdly, we our ability activates in the rain. Um, but also, we don't have any status conditions. And now I feel a little nervous because it's definitely just boosted its own attack types. Um, what to do? I cannot believe... Every single thing I was grinding against got hit by Toxic. Didn't miss at all. Now I've missed twice in the gym. Of course that's how it works. Of course that's how it works. It's so frustrating. Uh, let's see, we got A level out of it. Should we go to Juge? Even Xyla is probably a pretty solid choice. Because the water probably helps her out some as well. Hmm. I think Juge is probably the answer. I don't like being in this rain. Oh, you guys hear Luke out there? <laughs> uh, oh, we also have Leech Seed. Hmm, that's fun. It's a good thing to remember. So we could potentially have something with Toxic and Leech Seed on it at the same time. Boom, one shot, one kill. Juge is the man. Mm hmm, thank you, Juge. Level 40, man. Juge is insane. Double edge. Uh, I doubt we want to learn that. No, we don't. <clears throat> Keep old moves. Yes. Juge did not learn double edge. All right, Ashworth. You're making me nervous in each of these fights. <laughs> uh, I can't believe we've missed Toxic twice. <laughs> I like, I could not... Obviously, Ashworth has a problem with nerves. Like, wild Pokemon, no problem. When he's back in his home swamp, easy. Hits everything, feels comfortable. When he's here in the gym, fighting down Pokemon in important battles, maybe it's a little on me to throw Ashworth right into the fray. Like, okay, hey, you've had two levels worth of experience. You can fight gym battles, right? Go. Go fight the gym battles. You're fine. Uh... Maybe it's a little on me. And we're just putting him right at the front. No one else on the team knows who he, who she is yet. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're doing fine. Everything's great. All of our decisions were the right ones. Hey, we're back in this room. All we can do is randomly guess at portals. Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to do the other one. Now we're at the starting spot again. Zoop. This is the one we were just in, right? Hello, weird, creepy girl. And now we're back here again. So we are making all the right choices. I just want to fight people. <coughs> just give me somebody to fight. Zoop. It's amazing to me how many of these are like, we, okay, we made it to a new room. Still no one here. There we go. All right, you look like you need a good poisoning. That's a fun sentence. 
Don't we just look like a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse? I guess. I, is, that a, is that a desirable? I, Klefki! Ooh. Oh, but now we can't even poison you because you're a steel type. Oh, Klefki. I think Klefki holds the title for, like, most defensive, um, like, Pokemon. As, like, the most defensive typing of any Pokemon. Hard stop. Uh, at Fairy Steel. I like Klefki a lot. I have a very well, like, perfectly trained Klefki somewhere on one of my game cards. I need to put all of, like, my really well-trained competitive Pokemon into one spot so I don't lose them accidentally at some point. <laughs> Maybe I'll put them all into my Sword and Shield game whenever I get that. Um, let's see, Klefki. How are we going to fight you? You don't really have much weaknesses, but you're not very strong either. Not to say that you can't do a lot of damage. Hmm, let's see. Uh, Venoshock will not do anything. Toxic, you can't. I don't think you can be poisoned. And Struggle Bug, I doubt does too much. It might lower your special attack, but I'm not super concerned about that. Let's see. Let's go to Chloeo. So, I think Fire might still do some good damage on the Steel. But I could be wrong. What we really need is... Imprison, what does that do? Oh, I can't use the same moves you have. Okay, weird. Torment. What does that do? No, I can't use the same moves twice. Well, that's no problem. Oh, you've been burned! That's nice. If you don't want me to use the same move again, I'll just make it stronger for the next round. How does that sound? Work up. Mm-hmm. There we go. You poked the lion, man. Mirror shot. I don't know what that was supposed to have done. Anyway. I have thing. Go, Chloe. -o. Get Ashworth some more levels before we fight the big bad in this gym. Zoop. <laughs> Karelia. Interesting. Uh... I think we can probably still just Fire Fang this. Or is Fire Fang even the right option? I think Headbutt does more damage. Maybe we'll just Headbutt you. Headbutt, go. Flinch. We've even got a little attack boost here. This is nice. Oh! One shot! Look at that. Boom. Granville. Boy, we're getting very little. I can't believe that was more experience. Oh, I can't use the same move twice. <laughs> It's hilarious. Uh, Fire Fang. Shazoom. Oh, we can flinch all day. Do we have... Isn't there an item that, like, increases the odds of flinching? Because I feel like at the moment, Chloeo would severely um, benefit from it. <laughs> Almost all of our attacks cause... Or both of our attacks cause flinching. Oh, Rage. Yeah. You do have a lot of uh, runway left to uh, get... I keep forgetting the torment. <laughs> you avoided it. <laughs> Is that a joke? There we go. Headbutt. Bamf. Granbull down. Granbull down. <coughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You're a true Pokemon trainer. That's right. That's right. Which one did we come in on? Who goes that back. I don't know. Let's try this. Oh, okay. At least we're in a new room. Um, did Ashworth take any damage? No. Okay. That's good. All these battles are like freaking me out. There's so much stronger levels. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. Did you know that a certain type of move has no effect against our beloved fairy type Pokemon? Yes, I did. It's dragon type. We don't have any dragons, so ain't no, it no big deal. Slurpuff. Boy, they made some weird decisions for what fairy type Pokemon are. Like, this is when they introduced fairy type Pokemon. They were like, we need to make a good impression. Let's put a Slurpuff in the game. Mm hmm. That's what the game is missing. Toxic, please hit. First round. Thank you. That's what I wanted. That's all I've ever wanted. Energy Ball. That's not going to do anything. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Also, you've been poisoned. Mm-hmm. Also, protect. <laughs> what a fun strategy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, you've avoided the protect by using something else. What did aromatherapy do? Cure of its poisoning? How dare you? Man. They came to play. Let's see how Venashock just does on its own. Maybe I'm underestimating just how deadly poison is to these fools. I don't think I was. <clears throat> Not very effective. Aromatherapy. Mmm, that was sneaky. That was sneaky. But I think we can still just out... maneuver them. I think we'll just win the, the back and forth here. Oh, oh! Oh no. Okay, we got this because they brought us down, but we'll go first. Unless she had some sort of weird priority move. If she'd like pulled a quick attack right there, I would have screamed. That is a sneaky move though. If you, um, like, you'll see that sometimes in like competitive play, or, like you'll throw out like a level one Rattata that knows Endeavor and quick attack and they'll just like hit endeavor go down to one hp bring the opponent down to one and then quick attack them and knock out their big giant scary thing with the level one rattata it's very funny Whew. man ashworth diving ducking dodging surviving we're making we're making it through my gosh you've had some scares already buddy Level 34. Level 34. Freaking aromatherapy. That's sneaky. I guess they know you're going to try and poison them. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. So, I don't know what she has entirely. But, um, I suspect <clears throat> poisoning them is still going to be a nice move. I think she has a Mr. Mime. Uh, which is definitely going to try and set up like its reflect screens and stuff, which is another good reason to use protect because it'll just like waste a turn on them. Um, so there's that. I wonder, hold on, do we have any? Let's see. <laughs> I'm like looking down because I, I can't see it up there as if. Um, where's like... I was going to say, do we have any like x uh oh we do okay <clears throat> like battle items x attack we don't have x special defend which is what i was hoping for because that would probably give us a little bit more time Uh, if we could like open the round with that, that might give us a, a quick second to uh, start. That's okay. It's okay. All right. Well, the plan is to try and poison them. And Venno shock. Mr. Mom would also be weak to bug bite or whatever it is we're using that because um, he's part psychic. Um, that's the strategy. That's what we're going with. Otherwise, we'll switch out and hope Fatterhorn can survive the moon blasts. Which I think he definitely can. So. <sighs> Here we go. Gym battle number six. Boy, I like your wings. Oh, if it isn't a young trainer. So you've flown all the way through to my gym, fluttering down to me on a fortunate wind. Then I suppose you have earned yourself the right to battle as a reward for your efforts. I am Valerie, who leads this fairy-type gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy-types may appeal or fair hail as a breeze. Totally great at reading right now. And delicate as a bloom, but they are strong. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. I know, I know the strong Valerie. Uh, remember when we had Halt? He would have been great at this fight. Oh, Mawile! Another 
Mm, steel. Very. That's cool. Forgot about you. Forgot you existed. That's cool. Anyway, we're going to have to deal with you in our own way. <clears throat> Which is going to be to blow E O V. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't think we can poison you because I'm pretty sure you're part steel, which is annoying. I keep forgetting about steel types. Uh, I wanted to bring a steel type to this fight. Ended up with this weird bug thing. Bug ninja. Now we're immediately having a switch. Tricky. 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 Two to go to. We can try and body slam them. We can try and fire fang them. We tried leech seed. Uh, but no, no, we shouldn't go to Juge because steel is good against grass. Let's go to let's let's go to Cloeo. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Unnerve. Yeah, don't eat your berries. Iron defense. Oh great. Good thing we have all those special attacks, you know, like I was saying earlier. Oh boy, so that's gonna be real fun, I'm sure, to deal with. Um, we can Noble Roar it, that'll lower it down some, or we can work up and just make ourselves a little bit stronger. Or we can just go straight for the Fire Fang. All of these are options to us. Or I guess the Headbutt might be stronger. Right? We decided that. Let's see, let's see, what is she gonna do? That's the tr question. Let's Noble Roar her first just see what happens here can't lower her attack oh no oh we walked right into that one didn't we crunch okay that didn't do tons of damage but it wasn't great either hmm <laughs> let's try and flinch it it's a real bummer that they used iron defense. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, we're not gonna be able to do any damage. Wow. Okay. We're gonna have to try and go for the burn, I think. And also, let's go for the burn. That's what we're gonna need. That's gonna help us a lot. Flinched and couldn't move. Okay, so that's nice. We got at least one turn out of that. Here we go. <clears throat> Frickin' Mawile. You kidding me? Hyper Cutter. What ridiculousness. Alright, we're gonna have to... It doesn't look like she can do tons of damage. Maybe we should do some workups here. <clears throat> Just to, like, um... Build up our own. Because then, whenever she switches, we could try and... Defense fell. Oh gosh, that's not good. I think we need to actually just continue on with our burns because we might need to. We might need to switch because we have this lower defense. So it's not gonna be worth the workups. They're not gonna carry into the next fight. See, it's bad if we lower the, if the, she lowers our defense. Oh, that hurt a lot, that hurt way more. Okay, we're gonna have to switch. It was good. It was a good fight. We're going into fats. Okay. Tricky, tricky, tricky. We have leftovers here, though. Mm hmm. Not too concerned about yeah, that. Okay. Very good, Fatterhorn. Very good. All right. All right. Now, oh, we have power up punch. I forgot about that. Well, we may as well. Iron defense. Psh. Too little too late, friend. Although she could potion. Oh, that did just absolutely nothing. But, but, uh, it increased our attack. So, we should do that anyway so that when we body slam and or strength, we are stronger. This is still just building us up. 
that's the point of this. Even if we're just doing light damage, it should do more damage than it did last time. Yeah, because obviously we got the uh, attack boost. Then we're just gonna leftovers on up. That's good. Okay, okay, all right, we got this, Fats. Now we're going for the body slam. Will it be enough? Oh, that was enough to tip the scale. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, well maybe we'll get the paralysis now. Oh my gosh. We did get paralysis, but look how long this is gonna take. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then we are gonna power up again because we're gonna need as much damage dealing power as possible because this thing has got plus six on its defense right now. Fortunately, we're at plus three on, uh, on attack, but now we're down one on defense and it's still crunching us, but it could be paralyzed some, so we're just gonna do this. Power up again, plus we can rest and or, there we go, that's right. Man, all right, Powderhorn getting very, very strong. So if and when we defeat this stupid thing, um, we are going to be in a prime position to just body slam the rest of this team. Body slam. God, we're doing so little damage though. <laughs> it's so frustrating. And that crunch is doing so much damage. Oh my gosh, cannot believe it. Like, so much damage. Let's do... Let's just rest, because I want to get this health back. We haven't had to use rest yet, I don't think at all. Man. This is a long fight. This is only her first Pokemon. You believe that? She hasn't been paralyzed at all yet. Gonna get that back. Very nice. Very nice. Now we can't really do anything on this turn, but we could. Hmm. I was gonna say. Oh, you know what we could do? We could guard. Let's make. Let's just go ahead and use this because it stops them from reducing our stats, so we won't lose more defense from the crunch. Which is good. Oh man, it's still doing so much damage. I cannot believe it. Gosh. I don't, man, I do not like where we're at. I don't want to have to switch Fatterhorn out because we've got all those power up punches. Yes, I know you used Crunch, okay? I get it. Now we're gonna wake up. Okay, that one, for some reason, it didn't seem like it did as much. Now we're gonna wake up and we're gonna body slam you and you're going to be paralyzed and it's gonna be great. Fast asleep, what? No, we've wasted, it's been two turns. Does that have to be like two terms of active failure to attack? What's happening? Stop it. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Are you, oh man. I was like, oh, we wasted our two turns using items. That was a great way to do it. But no, apparently it has to be two turns of actual sleeping with the, oh gosh. Now we have to waste the turn on healing again. So that's great. Mm-hmm. I get it. Man. I can't believe the stupid Mawile. Totally throwing off my poison strategy. <laughs> and it is not getting paralyzed. Like, the point is... It is uh, if we even get paralyzed once, we just save a round and get two leftovers in a row. But so far, no. Woke up, body slam, kabam. Faint attack. Oh, switching it up suddenly for no reason at all? Confused. Did you run out of crunches? Can they run out of power points? Could you just please get paralyzed ever? If you hyper potion again, I'm going to be so annoyed. So annoyed. There we go. See, that's what I wanted. Two rounds of leftovers. Very good. Oh my god. <laughs> you see in this fight? You see in this fight? At least she's wasting them all on her first Pokemon so she won't have them later. 
And that gave us three rounds now of leftovers. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and power up punch again. Why not? We're going to be here a while. May as well make all these body slams as effective as possible. I think she's out of crunches because she's switched to faint attack, which is doing just as much damage, I might add. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. With the crit. Thank goodness. Way to hang in there, Fatterhorn. Like that, that, that was a leftover save right there. Like without leftovers, we just died. Oh man. Oh man. All right. Slow and steady. That's this fight. This thing is taking forever to go down. I really wish we burned it instead of the paralysis almost because that would cut its attack in half and it would just be taking up the damage all the time. I don't think we're in danger of like losing entirely. It's just an annoying fight. But then like every now and then she's getting these like big crits. Yeah, look at that again. What is this? Oh gosh. Body slam. And she's just like, the number of times she hasn't been paralyzed is ridiculous to me. There we go. Jeez. At long last. There you go. Thank you. Flamethrower. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. It is about time. Now we can finally unleash the true power of Chloe Go. Special attack. 100% accuracy. Possible birds. And the good news is Fatterhorn is at like plus six on the power up punches. So as long as we're faster, which I doubt we are, this thing is going down. It's going to set up reflect though. Of course it is. Of course it is. You had, you had one move, Mr. Mime, and it was your reflect. I hope it was worth it. Mm-hmm. All right, so the, the good news in our favor is that I'm pretty sure Sylveon here is just a special attacker. It doesn't have many physical moves. So the fact that our defense is down shouldn't be as big a deal. And we still have like plus six attack. We are insanely loaded right now. And our special defense is naturally just very high. So this should do quite a bit of damage. Dazzling Gleam. We should be able to live this. Whew. And you should not be able to live this because, oh, paralysis. So we should go first now and you should be dead. Body slam for the win. We did it. Oh man, <sighs> that stupid mall aisle. Can you believe that thing? Oh my gosh, I hope the sun is shining tomorrow. That would be a reason enough to make me smile. You're weird. You just lost. Oh gosh. Oh, that was I shall reward you. Mm-hmm. Yes, the fairy badge. Thank you. Clever name, by the way. Do forgive me. I was so happy I forgot the moment that is gonna do. Oh yeah, here we go. This badge, by the way, totally threw off my whole badge thing in the lower right corner. Made it look really weird. Because it's such a weird shape. All the everything else had to get smaller because of this one. Dazzling gleam. Now we have a fairy type attack, which is good, because it helps us fight dragons. Okay. Wow. Well, what an episode. <laughs> we got a brand new Pokemon. We did a little bit of grinding, and we got a new badge. And we did our first trade ever on a Nuzlocke. So that's pretty awesome. Um, man, I don't even know what happens next in this game. That was just a long fight. Ugh. Stupid Mawile. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will uh, see you in the next episode. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget that we name new Pokemon after people in the comments. So if you want a Pokemon named after you, make sure you leave us a comment down there. And I will uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.
boom, dead. Ah.